Hello everyone, this is uh, GSOC Jenkins Docker Base Quick Start Weekly Meeting. We are on the 3rd of July 2023 and today we have Ashutosh, of course, and Jean-Marc with us. Um, there were a few action items we were able to tackle. Um, Jean-Marc, last week we talked about the way you envision the um, organization of the repo. So you did not create an issue directly about that, but we talked uh, enough so that uh, Ashutosh has created issues that describe more or less what you were expecting. So I checked this one. Then Ashutosh, you were supposed to create a document to share with us your ideas. Uh, for the presentation, but you went right away and created the presentation. So I also so checked this one. Uh, I mean, we still had to do some changes about you mentioned that we have to reduce the content to more uh, present verbally more than it's because it's written in the slides right now. No? You said mm. to, uh, oh, yeah. don't, it's, don't it's show good. it to the public that much audience. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and then I was supposed to start the discussion with Doc Sig, which I have done, and you have done also on your on your side, Ashutosh. So things are slowly moving, uh, but that's okay. Um, we have to find out how we could interact with the Doc Sig, but that will come maybe later on. So the main subject, of course, yes, go ahead, John Mark. Uh, I I have a question to Ashutosh. Were you able to do a demo last Friday to the no, Doc Sig? I have uh, my internet connection was shut off. Okay. I had a, a problem, so I was not able to do that. Okay, good. So that would have been interested, interesting yep. to hear their point of view, but this happens. And uh, did, I didn't I follow. Did yeah, saw the, uh, you uh, did saw the YouTube videos uh, with uh, Chris, uh, Chris, uh, uh, Mark, and Meg attended that. Uh, office hours and uh -huh. they did uh, talk about it uh, the, uh, our project and uh, Mark said that uh, we have progressed nicely too in that video. So positive feedback without yes. seeing the, the, the demo. Okay, uh, last question. Uh, can we consider that the demo, the, the Maven demo is complete? So you are able to show it? I didn't try it. So uh, yes, uh, uh, if we if we don't include the uh, script, uh, the clone and force uh, script, then it's complete. I think because uh, the job, uh, I think user will be cre creating the job so uh -huh. in the UI. So that I'll show in the demo too. Okay, like, good. So. The, so milestone number two, or, or we call it one, is reach two, and you have something to show uh, next Thursday. Uh, well done. There are some uh, little, little, uh, little issues in milestone one, the Maven okay. one right now. Uh, it's uh, not; uh, they're not major issues. It's simple uh, refactoring and simple. Yeah. Things. Uh, I have, I don't know if you can see my screen, but I may have listed them all, uh, unless you have created some more in the last minutes. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, I will not go in depth in, in them. I'm just going to do, to give the general advice that I always give and Ashutosh can nearly say it himself is, so stay focused. The important thing is to have a good, efficient presentation. And then you can fix the last glitches in your your demo. In, in the, so, but I think this you start to understand. Good. So I'm now up to date. I'm in sync with you too. So uh, back to you, Bruno, for your meeting. Sorry to have interrupted, but I I wanted to have the. No, no, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah you're right. So, of course, uh, what we should focus on this week is the presentation that will happen on the 6th, uh, which is Thursday, of course, uh, at the same time as the GSOC office hours. 10 minutes presentation and demo. So, uh, Ashutosh, I think it's 
kind of finished you know, the writing of the slides um but of course you should rehearse rehearse and then maybe rehearse whatever you feel like it if um you should ask for a, how we, should we call it in english blank uh or i don't know try to um do the presentation to somebody it could be me a dry be, run dry run of course it is thanks a lot john mark uh so you could get some feedback before the real presentation i'll record of... i'll record myself and share to you yeah oh you Good. don't want to do it live okay <laughs> I, I, can, I can be live <laughs> but, uh, no so so he can do it at a time that works for him yeah of so course. this this good asynchronous don't I forget that when you're doing it live there's more stress yes <laughs> yeah here. so you you may speak uh, faster when you are doing it live so better yeah. time it correctly but you'll see whatever uh the point i wanted to focus on was the um, um quantity of text in the slide i haven't had a look at them um last weekend so i don't know if you progress on that i do hope that you squeeze it, squeezed everything into something more compact so people listen to you instead of reading if that's the case ashutosh yes I, I haven't done it right now but i will do it today so yes yeah. please <laughs> Okay. Thank you. So don't hesitate to record yourself, send us a video if you want to have some feedback. Don't be shy. Uh, that should be that should be okay. Um, anyhow. So uh, regarding the docs office hours now, you told us that you had an ISP problem, so you were not able to join the docs office hours. Um, that's not a major problem. We'll try to join next uh, Friday for you and next Thursday for me, because we will have to talk about uh, the way we will integrate the new documentation into the existing one. Uh, in the lag last docs office hours, uh, we took maybe five to 10 minutes in order to talk about that with Mark. And as a project progresses, uh, we will have a more precise idea on how to modify the existing documentation. Now, Repo, something that you wanted to uh, address last week, Jean-Marc. Um, so you wanted no. everything to... No. No. How come? No. No. Uh, uh, at this stage, uh, let's put that in the fridge. Okay. And uh, so I prefer that this week we, we, we really uh, focus on the presentation, clean demo, and uh, and that and that um, we can this for me it's not a priority of course i have other ideas uh, mm -hmm. things that i at first would like to test with uh, bruno and see so uh, i prefer that we focus in what you just explained so finishing the demo integrating the demo demo and uh, tutorial into the existing uh, uh, Document. documentation site. And then we focus on that because there are several strategies that we can uh, work on. You already know that I like focus and that we, but we need to clearly identify what is the target we're going to, uh, to work on and put the main effort on. Uh, I, I have a little chat with Bruno uh, to give my ideas uh, and and then there's something we can discuss uh, when next week will be a short week, maybe a week where Ashutosh can breathe a little bit and clean up mm -hmm. things because Bruno will be on holiday. Uh, I'll be at the weekly meeting on Monday, but it will be a slow week, uh, the week after the presentation. But we can already start discussing and brainstorming on the on the next steps. So, just my two cents. So uh, directories and reorganization of that. Let's put that in the fridge. We know it. It's a path we can can follow, but we need to keep yeah, our strength together. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, now for all the... yeah, go ahead, Jean-Marc. You weren't finished. No, no, no. Go ahead. No, no. I'm. Thank you. So for the Maven tutorial, which is something that you will demo on next Thursday. Um, so we used to have a, a script that bothered Jean-Marc and for very good reasons, because we were asking for the GitHub handle and then password or the talk. So that is a problem. So that's why you removed it. But the thing is, it asked for the GitHub handle and password, but also made some modification in the existing jobs that are part of the Maven, Docker, Compose, whatever. So the thing is, if we get rid of the script, we will then have a job which is not fully configured because there is um, the variable called GitHub username, uh, username that, yeah, that mm. won't be uh, dynamized. So that's a problem for me. Or, I see two solutions. We get rid of the existing uh, job so that we follow the um, existing tutorial, which asks for the user to cl uh, fork, clone, and then create a job all by himself. Or second solution, we keep the script, but simplify it without asking for the uh, GitHub password. So we only, we don't fork, we don't clone. People would still have to uh, fork and clone locally within the GitHub UI. And then uh, we keep the job, update it, changing the, va uh, the value of the variable. Um, I don't know, what's your thought about that, Ashutosh and Jean-Marc? Should we keep and simplify the script or just get rid of the script and get back to the old documentation? Uh, I'll let I Ashutosh thinking, first. I was thinking user, uh, user should create, uh, or, uh, create his own job in the UI uh, for this tutorial. Okay. So we won't, if we go that way, we won't need a script. What do you think, Jarnam? Um, I don't know the uh, the tutorial enough, and I don't know what is what are the prerequisites for the tutorial to work uh, correctly. So I follow Ashutosh's um, uh, direction that are a few things that are so general that we can move out. Normally, people should have some experience on how to fork a, a GitHub repository, how to clone it. Uh, but I don't know how the two are interweaved in the, uh, in the demo. Or I always keep it demo. It's, it's the tutorial. I forget that, mm. that word. So I have doubts. The uh, Ashutosh studied the um, the tutorial, and normally he demonstrates part of the tutorial, I guess. Um, or once the the presentation is done, we should run the. Oh, this works, this works, this doesn't work. So we need to find uh, a solution and decide how much we automate. Mm -hmm. So conclusion is I vote blank. I have not <laughs> enough opinions or not enough data to have a, a useful opinion on that. Okay, uh, I think I, that- uh, as, I like uh, both, both ideas make sense. Oh, so um, I will muddy the water some more then. I need to read <laughs> the tutorial. Yeah. I have been investigating and creating another POC and maybe we won't need to ask the user a password or a token. We could get the user to interact within his browser thanks uh -huh. to the script uh, without having to paste uh, any sensible data. So we'll see. Uh, maybe next week we could rediscuss it. We'll see that. Yeah. There, may ha there may be a solution, but it's prudent maybe to just get rid of the script uh, this week for the demonstration, for the presentation, and then we'll see what we should do in the coming weeks. Okay, I should also yeah. get rid of it, uh, modify the documentation so that the user knows he has to fork 
on the GitHub uh, UI, then clone locally, and then create the job all by hand within the Jenkins UI. Fine with you? Yes, fine. Yeah, uh, Ashutosh made a study of the, the, I need to read that here, but I'm running low on time. Of course. So I, I cannot put as much time as I wish uh, on that. I, I sincerely apologize for that, but uh, here I need to keep a good balance here. So, of course. Looks good. So continue like that. At least here that you're asking yourself the right question. Um, so there are some existing pull requests that could or should be addressed uh, this week. The first one is call the script directly. I don't know why I spotted that uh, you, were, you were calling Ashutosh the, um, one of the scripts, I can't remember which one, uh, with bash. And the script is bash itself. So I was wondering why. <laughs> and that's why I created an issue that you try to solve with the pull request. Yes, I have created a pull request solving this issue. I previously used SH uh, before the bash and it was giving an error, so I shifted to bash without thinking much. So okay. I created a uh, PR solving this issue. Yep. Well, it should be resolved today. So, uh, yeah, Ashutosh, yeah, sorry. Ashutosh and Bruno, don't wait for me to prove any PR. This it week, takes yeah, me right. here quarter of an hour to set every my workstation here up well, and in the the cables and so on so I, I i really need to get that organized so uh don't count on me yeah anyway, we'll see that going together and i don't uh, want to get into a fight with my wife ouch no no please don't <laughs> Then um, there is this other one, which is moving examples to root. But Jean-Marc, you say that we could put this one, more or less, uh, to the fridge until next week. If we have time, we can start. But uh, I fear that we're going to break things. So mm -hmm. for me, this is not a priority for, for that, as said. I, yeah. I have created a PR for this one today. OK, so that's. So well, here it's it's both your your decision, but remember, uh, you you will have a voice in the back of your head. Yep. Is this contributing to the success of the next milestone? Uh, and are we putting the project in danger or not? You're right, Jamar. But here you can work on it. So I. Uh, um the next one is refactor numbers to keyword i haven't read it yet but i guess it's not um jenkins in it for to get maven but jenkins in it maven to get maven yes uh, so I'll use different keywords for one uh, one two three uh, examples too so mm -hmm. that's that's a very good all of them have keywords instead of numbers now Okay, I will try this out. If you think it's ready for review, I review it just afterward and uh, see if we can merge it uh, fast or not. That's cool. That's uh, a good improvement. Yeah, yes, it is because I always get it wrong. Say, ah, Maven, is it two, is it three, is it four? I just can't remember. <laughs> and uh, there is no menu. I'm not asking you to uh, write a menu, by the way, for the time no. being. Not at all. Forget it. But yes, uh, typing Maven instead of four will help. That's for sure. Thank you. And uh, then we have other pull requests, which are draft pull requests. So don't even look at them now, maybe next week. Uh, the first one is um, how to say that in English. In French, it would be cataplasme sur une jambe de bois. It's a bound aid <laughs> or on something, you know, because a, uh, a band yeah. aid on a wooden leg. Yeah, something so... like that. Uh, that won't help that much because our goal is to have just a one Docker compass command to start everything. And for the time being, we are restricted to have Linux, Gitpod, macOS, and WSL, but it doesn't work for Windows. So I said to myself, hey, why not provide a PowerShell script to get it to work? So it works for me on my machine, but frankly, um, we shouldn't lose some time with that. Uh, we'd better um, invest some time in finding how to get rid of the shared scripts instead of replacing them with a PowerShell script on Windows. But 
whatever. If ever you want to have a look at them next week, feel free to do so. I'm not an expert in PowerShell in any way, so I, <laughs> I did the best I could, but it's maybe tons of nonsense. I don't know. It works for me, but maybe just by accident. You never know. <laughs> don't say that. Um, it, it's the... exploration ideas. It works. So let's look at it. it yeah. Don't be so cautious. Um, then I made two other draft PRs for the weeks to come. One is about the Python tutorial, nothing major. Frankly, it's mostly a copy and paste of the existing Maven tutorial. I just changed a few things here and there in the Docker file because we installed Maven, uh, we installed Python instead of Maven, but nothing uh, difficult. But then we have the Node tutorial, and then you'll see there are a few tricks in this one because it's Node. Node is not that easy to install. <sighs> Whatever. Uh, for next week also, nothing major if for the second term of GSOC. And then there is another one that I haven't created even yet, which is my exploratory work about how to work only with Docker Compose. And I have something that works, but I'm not proud of it because it's the return of the infamous Docker in Docker. I'm sorry about that. Um, so I will try to talk to an expert this week to see if we can get rid of Docker uh, in yeah, Docker. Yeah, I believe, I, I believe so. So this is one of the points I wanted to discuss with you after the meeting, Bruno, is okay. to, what are the strategies we can put the, the energy of Ashutosh on uh, and, and decide where we have what would be the most uh, useful thing to do. I have several subjects, functional subjects that we can explore, but we need to sequence uh, them and not yeah. attack them. And, and one is uh, what you're discussing there. So we can brainstorm on the subject, uh, but there are other things we can do before. Yeah. Because for I, I can I can discuss also after with you how we can how we can do that. No, okay. Thank you. So for the time being, I, I tried lots of different things and then came back to basics. The thing is, I have yeah. a simple con um, container in Docker Compose which um, has your script, you know, the Jenkins init script in it, and when you run it interactively. Um, it will issue a Docker Compose command in the end, as you are doing today with the shell script. The shell script is running inside the container. So the container launches by itself the Docker Compose command. That's why I was saying it's a Docker in Docker command. So I'm not proud of it, even if it's funny no, to see it work. Uh, here, uh, part that I, I have tips for you, or, or I don't understand. And we'll discuss that later. There are other ways, other ways to do that. So. Uh, the, Yep. I believe so. Thank you. Uh, now about the plugins, nothing new, nothing major. I think we have installed the pipeline graph view in some of the samples, maybe not all of the samples, so we should have a look at it. I had a discussion with Mark and then with Damien uh, about this plugin because the existing tutorial makes a big use of Blue Ocean, which is yes. deprecated. And getting rid of Blue Ocean is cool, but getting something that looks more or less like uh, Blue Ocean could be a big plus for users to understand what is going on. And I think that for the first tutorials we are addressing, uh, the Pipeline Graph View plugin does exactly what we need uh, to show. You know, um, it's very look alike. Um, it looks like the Blue Ocean yes. plugin for this part only. Of course, it's not as good and as um, you know it's not as good as blue ocean but the part we're addressing it's more or less the same so maybe we should uh, add it in just every sample so that we could have a documentation that looks more or less like what we used to have yeah uh, one of the things because i i made that uh, I, I made conference not conferences but workshops based on on that tutorial uh there were two things that were that we did with the blue ocean part one was the visualization 
so that people see the principles. And the other thing was the editor. The editor was guided, had some syntax checking in there, and and that was a good a good help. But there's another topic I wanted to discuss uh, with you. Another uh, rabbit we can uh, get Ashutosh hunting, but I want him to hunt only one rabbit at a time. So uh, this reflection that you're mentioning there is, 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 it will not be simple and this will be big. So big, uh, important. So the, there is the graph view and the editor. Is it needed? I know the editor, the people liked it and helped them very, very much. Okay, uh, I never tried it, should have a look at that. Yeah. Okay, uh, so of course it's not part of um, this milestone, but if you could just add the plugin so that we know it's there, and then yeah. we see what we can do with it uh, in the next. And we, and we can experiment with that. Super yeah. idea. Yep, very Thanks good. So much, and something we haven't yet figured out, uh, and we won't figure it out today, I guess. Um, it's still a question. Uh, should we keep the list of plugins updated by hand, thanks to a script? Should we have a exhaustive, um, definite uh, list of plugins or only the ones we are interested in? Because sometimes, uh, even if we have our list of um, plugins, our short list of plugins uh, updated, when we start Jenkins, the first thing it asks us is to update other plugins we did not um, yeah. reference to in that. So I don't know if that's a good thing or not. It may be a good thing because uh, then people have to know that updating the plugins is a regular thing to do within the UI, or should we get rid of that so they only focus on creating a good job i don't know uh i i have a strategy for that so uh this is well it, it's not supposed to be discussed uh, now i first want to sync with you uh okay. on, on that one um so updating plugins will be required when we don't know but That's right. uh, because uh, otherwise, when you as you mentioned, when you start the the the, the Jenkins cluster, uh, you'll start having uh, warnings, and the warnings are distracting, and will uh, uh, make that the people don't have confidence in in the environment. So having a clean environment. Uh, is important and the Jenkins version and the plugin versions have different life cycles. So pinning is a very good strategy, but it requires that we update uh, them. So uh, at this stage, I think we should maintain it by hand okay. because at this stage, it's not a priority. So we need to add it to the features that we will need, we need to solve that. I have an idea for an intermediate step that uh, Ashutosh could, uh, and this is more strategy, because uh, I want Ashutosh to have, go from stone to stone, stepping stone from st to stepping stone, and that he makes progress, because this is very rewarding instead of, going but the goal you're uh, is is and i i know how we can reach that okay uh, i'm sorry to come always back with saying a focus in in the <laughs> what is important but the, the, it's important. you need to i'm afraid yeah okay and i think that's all that i had um, Jean-Marc Ashutosh, would you like to add something, if there are any questions you would have or feedback? I wanted to ask uh, how uh, will the presentation happen? 
you mentioned that uh, it will be it will not be normal zoom meeting in the office hours um so that's that's a good question what happens is that it it see it as a regular zoom meeting it has only uh the feature that normal attendant the regular attendant cannot turn the camera on and cannot speak. So only the people that will present uh, are, and they have a special invitation URL for that. So they, they call panelists. So from your perspective, it will work exactly the same way as uh, the Zoom meetings we have. Only there will not be interruptions uh, between. And uh, uh, I will uh, lead the presentations. So uh, and pr I need to see, Alisa will play also a very important role as she has the, the, the controls. So uh, Alisa and myself will give the word to each one after the other and say, now it's your turn. And we show the slides. Then you start talking. Don't forget to give the cue to Elisa. You can now show the next slide. So this this just for organizational reasons. And uh, then you need to, there is a little trick that you need to be aware when you want to show something, Elisa will have to stop sharing you share your screen and immediately as you're done, you stop sharing. And then Alisa shows the slides to continue. So it's a little different than usual. Did, did that answer your question or did I confuse yes. you? Yes, that answered the question. And I was also okay. uh, wondering, should I uh, create uh, answers for the possible questions that the audience might ask? Like what this is windows a, or what? This is a very wise step, a great idea. So uh, at least have them ready and that you thought uh, about them. And this is something that we could reuse uh, afterwards. So, uh, and, and it, uh, this is a super idea you have. So, uh, so with, the, with the recording I share with you guys for uh, feedback, I will also uh, share mm -hmm. the uh, questions and answer that I come up with. For the okay. questions. This is very good. Oh, you're making my, my life a misery, Ashutosh. I need to take time to listen to it. I need to see yeah, how I can get organized. Uh, for the uh, questions, I will post it in the text. I will post it as text. So mm -hmm. it's easier okay. for you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, for for the, the the dry run, your recording, right? Yes, that that yeah. will not include the questions. I will post the questions and possible answers separately. Uh, separately. Yes. Okay. Okay. So what happens uh, during the presentation is that people ask questions in the chat. The special channel for that. Uh, and I'm not sure that people see other people's question. So you pick the question you're going to uh, to ask. And so Alyssa and myself will probably uh, rephrase the question, uh, not in writing, but uh, and invite you, Ashutosh, we got this question. And then you have the, t the time to, to answer it verbally so you can you know why well, it's it's more tricky you can uh, write it but uh, this doesn't yeah. work uh, Jean-Marc so it's 10 minutes with questions or without questions no. it's 10 minutes presentations five minutes for the Q&A questions okay yeah so uh, do all the presentations questions come uh, together like first will be Jagruti's, uh, Harsh, then Vandit's, no. then mine. 
then all the so, questions or one by one? No, no, it will be really cut in four. Okay. So uh, you have good questions, Ashutosh. This, so it, it means that you thought about it. So very well. So uh, Jakruti will start with her 10 minute presentation and then we'll pause and say, are there any question for uh, Jakruti? And then we'll, we'll start answering that. I'll look at my watch and at a certain time I will stop uh, the question flow. Uh, and invite people, other questions, you can go to community.jenkins or to the Gitter channel. Stop. Next one. Because I want to give everybody equal uh, time. Then the next one does a 10-minute presentation, five minutes questions. And if we have a little bit time at the end, but I notice the three others will have to drop the call uh, because they have exams to uh, to prepare. Uh, I will say, is there any other question? And, and we'll try to, to, to answer those. So no, it will be really separate Q&A. Does that answer your question? Yes. Very good. Thank you, Daniel. Ashutosh, are you not scared or are you, uh, how can I, I say am, that? Uh, I am a little bit nervous. A, a bit nervous, which is good, which is good. It's normal, but preparing well. And it's a very good exercise, going to see. Yep. And don't worry, nobody's going to kill you. No, not today, not uh, on Thursday either. <laughs> <laughs> don't no, tease him That's about nice that. Experience. Yeah. Yeah. All will be okay. Fine. Yes. Good, looks really good. And uh, the project is uh, is moving, moving correctly yeah. now. That's cool. Thanks a lot for your work, Ashutosh. Uh, so I will review today uh, the PRs you have opened and can't wait to see your um, recorded presentation. I will, I will really try to look at it, but I, I can't promise it. Of course. Of course. Okay, so I apologize very dearly for 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 that Ashutosh, but because I know it's important, but I I need to to balance uh, things. Yes, of course. Okay. Okay. Well, anything else before we close the meeting? We close the meeting. Ashutosh. No, Mark? nothing else. No. Cool. Go Ashutosh. Go. You're going yeah. to smash it. Thank you. <laughs> So you so made folks. great work the last two weeks. So continue like that. I right, go. Yes, yes, please. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Um, have a good week until we see each other on Thursday. And uh, don't hesitate to get in touch via Matrix, Gitter, yeah. Illumo. If you ever have a question, a doubt, or whatever, good. or even via GitHub issues, yes, go ahead, John Mark. No, I just would like to have a chat with you afterwards, and uh, I have somebody sending me an SMS. Let me say how, when, oh, via this. Okay, uh, let me just stop the recording and we'll chat afterwards. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.